I find myself smiling, Stir or starting to think that getting pulled in here wasn't such a bad thing after all. I know that a more depraved individual might see this situation as some golden opportunity to impress four girls, but honestly, it's been really nice just having somewhere to belong and hang out with people that I get along with. Something I sorely lack in the real world, or sorely lacked in the real world. It wasn't through lack of trying, at least at first. I would make a lot of effort to keep in touch with friends, to hang out, to do things together. But I found that as everyone else started moving on with their lives, making new friends or relationships, it took more and more effort just to maintain some kind of friendship. Eventually, I guess I just kind of gave up. For a good long time, I just merely existed, never really doing much with my life or making any concerted effort to improve. This was, of course, my own doing, and it wasn't until I had sought out therapy that this had became clear to me and what I needed to change, but it was and is still a lot of work. Here, though, it just feels so effortless. It's a little difficult to tell if it's just because of the way the game is designed, or it's because I genuinely have a lot in common with them, or both. But either way, I really find myself enjoying this time spent with them. Most of all, Sayori. She's always so positive and upbeat, even though I know that's not how she always feels. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all! It's your fault for sleeping again like that! This isn't the napping club! Aha! <laughs> so there is a napping club! Did you really say a blanket with your bomb? I'm not sure I like what you're implying, but I assure you that's the case. You know, now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know, you know? You said you know twice there. <laughs> Don't change the subject, mister! You'll need to get used to club work! Ugh, five more minutes. I waved my hand at her and drooped my head down, pretending to fall back asleep. Holy, I'm serious! I looked back up at her. Yeah, I know, I know. Believe it or not, I do actually really appreciate you looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> That being said, however, what about you? You look out for me, but who's looking out for you? I know you've been oversleeping every day, right? Huh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... that's a secret! Uh-huh, sure. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I would, but you haven't exactly been hiding it. Siri blinks at me. I think she's wondering exactly how much I know, but also doesn't want to let it show just in case. Look, you were clearly in a rush this morning. Your hair is sticking out all around here. Huh. I point towards her hair at specific spots where they seem unkempt. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. Uh-huh. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But no one would ever notice that. I did, and I'm not the most observant person. But it's also one of those things that people probably aren't likely to point out, since they're probably don't want to embarrass you, probably, and two hours and embarrass. But as your friend, I don't care about embarrassing, embarrassing you. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, did you sleep in your clothes? Huh? That's super mean! Look, if it's alright, here. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. As I go to straighten her blazer, our eyes lock. At first it seemed innocent enough, but then her eyes started to water a little. Kelly, you feel weird, like we've been here before. I suddenly feel a chill run down my spine. I can't explain it, but something feels off. Just as I'm about to say something, we hear it. Mm -hmm. Everyone jumps all at once at the sudden explosion. The school's automatic fire alarm system starts going off, and we can hear students start pouring into the hallways. What's going on? Was that an explosion? Just then, the others run to the front of the room. Whoa, did you hear that? That sounded so cool! Monica sighs. Natsuki, this isn't the time for jokes. Who's joking? I just let it sound it. Natsuki trails off when she realizes there's no saving that. <laughs> it certainly sounds cool. It sounded close. Uh, we can talk about it later. Right now, we should probably follow everyone else's lead and make for the exit. Monica and I exchange worried glances, since neither of us has any idea what's going on right now. But whatever it is, we've just gone completely off script. Allie! Allie's right! Everyone move out! We can meet up at the fountain in the courtyard! It's then that I feel a sudden pain in my gut. I'm not sure if I'm having a heart attack or a sudden bout of nausea or both, but suddenly everything starts spinning. Am I going to die? What's happening to me? What?
I'll be going backwards, apparently. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your... I clutch my stomach and try really hard to hold back vomit. What the, the hell just happened? Holly, are you alright? What's the matter? Do you need to see the nurse? I hold up a hand to signal I'm okay. I just need a few minutes. The others rush over to see what the commotion was, or is. The spinning room is slowing down and I begin to feel better. I don't know what the hell that was, but I never want to do that again. Holly, is everything okay? I can escort you to the nurse's office if you need help. Oh man, if he blows chunks, I'm out of here! Not helping, Ozzy. Ah, well, hold on a second. Say so said, hey, I didn't mention it earlier, but I did notice they were kind of using, like, generic pronouns for the protagonist. And, like, I understand that that, like, is kind of more inclusive for more players, because, like, you don't know, they, 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 they thems, I guess, are safer. But the thing is, this guy is kind of his own character. He's not really us, per se. But, like, they, they, that's kind of up to the developer of how they want to handle that. If they want, if they want them to be, or if they want him to be his own character, they should probably give him his own pronouns. If they don't want him to be his own character, they can like keep going with the they them's if they really feel like it. It was especially virgin when she was like, "You brought in a stray." Like, what? Come on. I'm all right, guys. Really, I'm sorry to worry you all. It must have been a weird bout of vertigo or something. Are you sure you're all right? I'm good. Seriously, I'm already feeling pretty much back to normal. Just got dizzy and queasy for a second. I'm not really sure what happened myself. One moment I'm helping Siori button up her blazer, and the next minute I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I don't know why, but I feel like I missed something. I vaguely recall hearing something like an explosion and an alarm, but even that is fading fast from memory. Maybe it's a side effect of my brain being hijacked into a virtual reality system. In any case, I don't want to worry the others, so I try to play it off. Well, if you're sure. Monica seems a bit suspicious of my response, and to be honest, I don't blame her. I don't even really know what I would tell her anyway, since I'm not even sure myself what was happening. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm good now. Sorry again for all that. Don't be sorry, Holly. We just wanted to make sure you were alright. I'm glad you're feeling better, though. Monica clears her throat and attempts to change the subject. Since we're all here, we might as well go ahead and read our poems, if that's alright with everyone. Holly. I give a half-hearted smile and a thumbs up. Good with me. I'll get my poem. Alright, and we skip what do you do? Sayori. <laughs> I think I'd like to start or share it with Sayori first. I want to really try and get to know her. The real her. I hand Sayori my poem. I hope I didn't do too badly. It's been a while since I've written anything. Ah, it's different depending on who we write for. How interesting. Rain. I don't really like the rain. In fact, I think it rains too much. But I don't think others feel the same. Some people don't seem to mind it at all. Sometimes, especially when it's raining hard, I feel like I'm drowning. Water just keeps pouring down, enveloping me, choking me. But then I met someone. Someone funny and sweet. And what I loved most about her was how she always carried an umbrella. You see, I don't think she likes the rain either. But whenever it started to rain, she'd take out that bright orange umbrella, and with a smile on her face, she'd skip through the rain like it was nothing. She can even offer to let me take shelter under it. Alone, it was enough to keep a single person dry, but not quite so much for two. Still, she never complained. We'd hold that umbrella together, and though it didn't keep us completely dry, it was enough. With it, we could weather anything. I've decided that I should get an umbrella too. That way, if she ever forgets hers, she can always take shelter under mine. Oof, I was worried maybe it was a bit too on the nose or just plain terrible, but the silence is killing me. So, was it bad? Sierra blinks and looks at me. No, not at all. It just surprised me as well. Ah, I see. Is it a bit much? She shakes her head. No, I really like the... the, the did you write this yourself? I stand there with a shocked expression. Of course I did. What, you think I would plagiarize it or something? I'm lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Sierra giggles. Okay, okay. So, did you write this with anyone in particular in mind, or...? My face flushes. I guess it was pretty obvious. I, um, may have. This seems to amplify her smile even more. I love it! I have no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you give me too much credit. I'm not a very good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Haven't I heard this before? Jeez. Well, at least I can count on Yuri to give me some constructive feedback. I know Natsuki will be brutally honest as well. Are you sure you aren't a little biased? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other 
happy fall, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a Hallie poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sierra hugs the sheet against her chest. I honestly don't know what to say. That is probably the best compliment I've received in a long time, and she seems genuinely honest about it, too. I can't help but smile for a brief second before guilt washes over me. She says that she knows me better than a lot of other people, but she doesn't really know me. A real me masquerading as the MC. Well, thanks, Siori. That means a lot. <laughs> I'm just really happy that you wrote one. Oh, now we skip. Skip. Alright, I'll go Monica second since we were picked her first before. Dots. I like this one. It makes me think of something Siori would like. I suppose so, yeah. I'm sure... I'm sure she can tell how red I'm getting based on the smile on her face. So I take it you decided to try and get to know her first. I detect a tinge of disappointment in her voice during that last part. Oh well, I mean, I just want to try and get to know her better in general, you know? Hmm. Well, whatever the case may be, try to bear her. Bear in mind? Keep in mind? Try to bear in mind that... Oh no, wait, there, there is, but it, this is the wrong bear. It would be A-I-R. B-E-A-R, like the animal, for this one. Try to bear in mind that you two are, that is to say, the original player and her were best friends. I'm sure she's already noticed how different you're, keep, or you're acting towards her, but try to ease into it. You don't want to overwhelm her suddenly and end up pushing her away. You think I'm coming on too strong with her? Not necessarily. I just think you should try listening to her more, rather than trying to identify with her, you know? Ah, I see. I just want her to know she doesn't need to suffer alone, you know? I know. A little bit about what she's going through. Monica nods. Well, just try not to push too hard and let her open up to you naturally. That goes for poetry as well. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But any, er, in any case, Siri's writing us. Yuri has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes explore or exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Yeah. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I can skip now. Yeah. Alright, and these shouldn't be any different. Unless she has a radical new take on what I wrote. Uh, Natsuki feels differently about this poem. I had Natsuki in my poem with some nervousness. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a poem I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. I mean, fair, but still. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just, it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can't fly. Skip. <laughs> All right, but now we'll pick the Siori option when they start to fight. Don't take sides, just say something. Oh, apparently that was slapping the desk. Oh, well. There is no serious side. Oh god, what triggered this? There was no new dialogue leading up to that. Can, can, can we go? End of demo! Gasp! I guess it's just that because it was the end of thing. Well, gosh. Loud! Wow. Alright, so that. We've got our unaware one over here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if the CRE thing is any different on this side. And if it's not any different, then we're not gonna worry about it for any of the rest of them. Okay, dear viewer? Does that sound like a good compromise to you? Because we don't know. We, are, we already saw that it is substantially impacted in the Monica route. So we need to see if it substantially impacts the CRE route as well. Yeah, I just stated a typo <laughs> as if it was a word. You know, I was kind of pondering, looking at words that have been getting combined in mods sometimes, and wondering if that's how some other words we know of that are, like, combined came to be that way. Like, words like, like, every day, and like, whatnot. I can't think of any other examples right now, because I'm like, I'm trying to make this sailing poem while, while I'm trying to make this point, and it's like, are a swell and each other the, the future combined words to just become accepted due to their misuse? I kind of hope not because I usually hate those words. I can't, I'm still kind of against all right, to be honest. 
Like, if you look in the original script, Doki Doki, every time they say all right, it's that A-L right version. But whenever I wrote it in take two, it was always A-L-L space right. It doesn't bother me now as much as it used to, but it definitely bothers me. I am trusted, Jim. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be an different. Monica realizes her sudden faux pas and decides not to finish the sentence. What was it? It looked like you just saw a good. Oh, I don't know how that impacted it, though. <laughs> that one line. That one line is. Okay, so the bomb thing still happened. All this stuff still happens. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a different. All right, now then, uh, we're not gonna worry about that stuff. We're just gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the, 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 we got like one new line for doing that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Goodness, I'm kind of running out of time here, but I guess I could like write a poem for the next one. Uh, we'll just go right down the line with Natsuki next. Yuri may be my favorite, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna put her ahead of anybody. If anything, we're saving the best for last, from my perspective, right? Yeah. Yeah, freaking chocolate. And like, and swimsuit. Fluffy. Vanilla. Fluffy. Wasn't the cash in here? No, that, that, no, no. Natsuki. Natsuki, like a word, Natsuki. Dang it, Natsuki. <laughs> Marshmallow. Uh, sugar. Mm, strawberry. Dang, 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 dang. I, I wasn't paying attention. Don't mind me. It's been a long day. She doesn't like any of these either. Dang it. Embrace. <laughs> Natsuki. See, this is why I'm in take two. I expanded the poem game to have like 20 words to choose from. It just wouldn't have been feasible. But you know, I have two more characters than this. Eh. I think it's like just doable enough with four people. But just doable enough. Just barely. All right, let's skip some crap. Go. So now I'm wondering if anything kooky crazy will happen on, or happen in Natsuki's exclusive. Oh, yeah. That sound of exasperation coming from the closet could only be from one person. I'm assuming based on how the script is supposed to go, Monica has moved her manga. Oh, hold on a second. They've been doing this again, too. They were capitalizing it earlier, and I didn't say anything because I was like, well, as long as they're consistent. Ah, now they're not consistent anymore. And honestly, I don't know why they would, like, capitalize the M in manga. Because it's not a proper name. Like, you don't capitalize the B in book, do you? Or the N in novel. No, so... Get rid of those capitalized mangas. That makes no sense. I guess I get over to the closet and see if I can help. Not that it isn't plainly obvious, but she definitely seems to be annoyed. I approach her in order to lend, or at least offer, a hand. And you know, we're cutting it ever so slightly early. But we're gonna stop there for now. Because that's going to do it for this session. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with what is... Almost certainly the end of the demo of Liberation. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.